Vandalism at a local summer camp is causing issues at Merrim Camp and Retreat Center. The problems left staff there scrambling to keep the educational fund going for the campers. Zach Stidham spoke with the center's executive director and has the very latest. Zach. He said that while the situation is unfortunate, the Merrim community came together to get them back on their feet. As staff at the Miriam Camp and Retreat were doing their routine check of all the cabins, they realized something was off about Taylor's cabin. It turns out that this cabin had been broken into and had hot water running from the shower the entire time. This caused mold to start growing on the ceiling, forcing them to shut the cabin down indefinitely. We got the water shut off right away, and the more we began to think about it, this could have been going on for two days. I took a quick look over at all the doors. I saw that the back door was broken. However, Grimm thinks that this person had no bad intentions in mind. We've been happy to serve our local community in the past, opening our campus to those in need. And so, in all likelihood, this person was probably in need, and we wish they would have approached us in a way that we could have served them correctly. This took a toll on day-to-day -day operations at the camp. When we're in the middle of our busy busiest, biggest camp season, to have a cabin out of commission, we had to scramble to figure out where to put everyone. But thankfully, the Miriam community chipped in to help by donating money to speed up the restoration efforts for the cabin. I really want everyone to know that even though we are experiencing this, it was a surprise to us. You never know when hard times can hit, but I know that in a town like ours, people pull together, and that's really what makes this type of work so gratifying. Yeah, anyone that wants to contribute towards this effort can find a way to do so on our website, mywildwestvalley.com. Back to you, Mike. Thanks a lot, Zach.